Now let's take a look at the stabiliser, which is next in this particular chain, find out what it is and how to use it. Think of it as another form of EQ, but unlike the one we've already looked at, it is an adaptive EQ that reacts to incoming material. Obviously, when we set up the EQ, it was done to the overall track, but in most forms of music or audio, there are going to be sections of a track that require slightly different EQ. Not major changes, but just tweaks. The stabiliser applies these tweaks based on the incoming audio. Imagine being able to adjust an EQ's controls really quickly as a track plays, to tame any resonance in some places, or keep the tonal balance as the track plays. That's what this stabiliser is for. If you remember, the Master Assistant set a tonal balance target when we initially played through the track. This is the target curve for this module. Let's take an overview of the interface. At the top left is a Delta button. Click on this button to hear the difference in the before and after processing signal. When this is active, you'll only hear the audio that is actually being processed. Handy for targeting problem areas. Reset at the far right, as its name suggests, resets all controls to their default settings. Most of the module's display is taken by the difference meter displayed as a spectrum. The solid level line running through the width indicates the target curve. The spectrum displays any frequencies above and below this target frequency, which is effectively the difference between the target and the actual audio playing. To the left of this meter are the main controls. At the top is where the target curve is displayed and chosen. This matches the tonal curve that was set in the master assistant view. It can, however, be changed as required. The mode control sets how the stabilizer works to adjust the audio to reach the target curve. Shape will apply boosts and cuts to adjust the audio. Cut, as the name suggests, will only apply cuts to tame resonant peaks as they exceed the target curve. You can see this in the spectrum window as modes are switched. To my ears, the cut is far more noticeable and aggressive than the shape mode, although using a delta switch in cut mode, you'll hear that very little is actually being cut. Remember, in cut there is no makeup level applied though. The amount setting scales how much correction is applied and as well as being audible the level adjustments of the various frequencies are reflected in the spectrum display. Speed controls how quickly corrections are applied. The faster is set, the more accurate the tonal corrections, but too high a setting is likely to introduce artifacts you'll see how much more active the meter is at higher settings. Think of smoothing as similar to a multiband Q control. The higher this setting, there appears to be less bands, but with wider bands being adjusted, hence a smoother curve. But this in turn allows the audio to drift further from the target curve. The lower the setting, the more bands there appears to be, but with narrower processing, making it more accurate to the target curve. Again, this is noticeable in the audio output and spectrum display, as the higher the setting, the smoother the curve as processing is less aggressive. Reducing it, and the curve becomes much more active as the processing intensifies. Again, be careful with lower settings that may introduce artifacts on some material. Sensitivity is similar to how a combination of threshold and ratio work on a compressor. At the higher settings, any tonal deviation from the target curve will be suppressed. 
that 0%, all except the most extreme residences, will be allowed through without suppressing them. Notice this is only available in the cut mode. The tame transient switch will make the processor clamp down instantly on any excessive frequencies. The low, mid and high controls are just how much processing is applied across each of these three bands. Lows are below 100Hz, mids are between 100Hz and 5.6kHz, and highs are above 5.6kHz. This is one of the more subtle processes as you can hear when I switch it off and back on again. I would describe it as adding more presence to this particular mix. Now let's move on to the impact module. 